big design ideas. An end? Huh. This must be that green guy's desk. Seems to really like pale yellow green. Developers here? No, I'm Timothy 3000, Automated Office Assistant. I'm here to help you with all your needs. Hi, I'm Joan. I've been working in the industry since the 90s, but I've only been here a few years. I'm Midge. I've apparently been working here for 10 minutes. I really thought it would be harder to get this job. Oh dear, no. You haven't read much about our studio, have you? Not really, no. Well, you'll learn. We have a bit of a reputation. Oh, okay. Okay, this guy didn't really explode. Did he? Can that actually happen? I'm Viper. You can call me Viper. I'm the best there is at what I do, and I don't suffer incompetent fools. Are you incompetent? Hi, Viper. I'm Midge, and no, I don't think so. I'll be the judge of that. Look, if you're gonna fill in Javier's shoes in animating my masterpieces, then you need to prove to me you know what you're doing, okay? A good pose is crucial to properly showing off my work. I have a lot of action figures, mostly from my favorite game, Sweaty Blood. Show me you know how to make badass poses by posing them. This is Bloody Chuck. Look at all that detail. That's how you know it's a good design, okay? Bloody Chuck is the sturdy hero of the game. He keeps his pouches shut with Phillips head screws. Huh, <laughs> sweet. in all those pouches. He's a scholar warrior. That's important in season four. Hey, anatomy isn't important in character art. Looking cool is important. Look at me. Free tip. Articulation is very important in character art. Well, I guess you'll improve. Not many animators can keep up with me, so I shouldn't have been surprised. Hi, Midge. Welcome to the studio. First, don't listen to anything Kevin tells you. He's a lying, heartless bastard. Second, we don't have the budget for a new computer, so you'll have to use Javier Station. I guess that makes sense. It's still covered in blood, but you can worry about that later. Oh, all right. Hi, I'm Ben. Uh, look, no offense, uh, Midge, was it? I'm trying to get some stuff done. Whoa, this thing needs to be cleaned. There's a note here. Warning, Sally is feisty today. Huh, I wonder which one Sally is. This box of Hugbot cereal expired three years ago. Hey, cool. 
Mit 32C graphing gaming device. Been years since I saw one of these. This looks like the audio room. They may be recording in there. Yeah, we keep our foam dart guns in there. The store looks like it just goes to a supply closet. I can't promise I'll remember your name, but that's okay. I've got a lot of thinking going on up here about boss things. Why don't you go say hi to some of your teammates? Hi there, I'm back. So, can we talk about the last animator? Oh, Javier? Uh, right. So, should I be worried about what happened to him? Oh, no. Spontaneous combustion just happens sometimes. Animators just do that, you know? It's the stress. Can I have his chair? What? No. That's going to be Midge's chair. I don't think people just explode. There's no time for dwelling on the past. We need to think of a way to deal with those people outside. Why should she get the good chair? I've been here much longer. Can't you just go talk to them? <laughs> Talking never solves anything. Oh, maybe we can camouflage the studio. Or hire a Velociraptor. Look, I'm just gonna go ask them what they want. Wow, this is a big crowd. Where did you all come from? Oh, a developer. This is the New England chapter of the Global Internet Fandom Coalition. This is what we do. We're a mobile fan club. Really? Shovelwork Studios has their own fan club? Of course not. We're a generic group. We go where we're needed. Today was slow, and Linda loves sharks. It's true! So you're fans of... sharks? Yes, absolutely. At least today. Did you really think you could pass off a great white as a tiger shark? Great whites have pointy heads! I mean, seriously, has the game industry lost all reason? Hey, everyone! What do we want? Fix the shark! Yes! Fix the shark! Oh, wanna buy a t-shirt? It's 100% cotton. Um, no, not really. <laughs> Your loss. Look, you think you can get away with everything. Well, you got a choice. Either fix that shark or cancel the game. Uh, cancel the game? We can't do that. It's just starting to come together. Maybe you could just fix the shark. No, it must be a tiger shark. Tigers are cool. Yeah, canceling things would totally compromise our vision. Pylon, hey! What? They're right. It's a great white, not a tiger shark. And it's a cool shirt. Okay, so tell me about this game. Ah, you're intrigued. Excellent. You know your Endless Runner games, right? Those mobile titles where you always race to the right and tap to jump over things and, and try and last as long as you can? Yeah, so it's like that. It's an Endless Runner, but the twist is... Wait for it. There's an end. That's it? You're making an endless runner with an end? I call it an endful runner. Or maybe just endy runner? Well, whatever. The community is ultimately who decides a new subgenre's name. We just have to make the game no one realized they wanted. I love making games no one wants. So, yeah, I'm not so sure I'm the best fit for this place. It seems a bit intense. Oh, you'll get used to it. Everyone here is great. With the exception of Viper. And all of the engineers. And the boss. And the tiger shark. And the occasional spontaneous combustion of animators. But otherwise, it's great. Also, look, we need you, Midge. This game, this is gonna be a hit. But only if we have a good animator. That's why Javier was so important. What's in the fridge? Free soda. Guys, they're getting restless out there. I don't think they're gonna leave on their own this time. Right. How do you calm down a crowd of fans? Well, everyone gets angry when they're hungry. Guys, they're getting restless out there. I don't think they're gonna leave on their own this time.
something with this. Take this. Ooh, do something with this. Are things normally like this around here? 